Well, the recent warm temperatures are leading to thin ice on normally frozen over lakes and ponds. The body of a fisherman was recovered this week after he fell through the ice in Lake Geneva. As Ben Jordan reports, rescuers use new technology to aid in the search. It's new at 6. Given the Lynn Police Department's small team of officers, searching this large lake by boat wasn't their best first option. They wanted to get something up in the air right away. Early Tuesday morning, Lynn police say the wife of a fisherman came to this boat ramp in a frantic search. She had started calling somewhere around 7 a.m. and it was going right to voicemail. Captain James Bushy says she hadn't heard from her husband in hours while out on the lake. Not coming up with anything, that's when obviously got, you know, concerned and called us and asked if we could come down and assist. After seeing how thin this ice was from the recent warm-up. You have, you know, a lot of floating chunks of ice. Crews arrived within minutes to find a break in the ice several hundred yards out. From a ground level view, you're only going to be able to see so much. Bushy decided to put this drone up in the air. As soon as we put this up within about the first four minutes, we had located a heat signature in the water. At that point, it was too late. Video from the drone showed the victim had already drowned, turning police and fire efforts into a recovery. Despite the tragic ending, Bushy points out their method potentially saved hours of searching and a family waiting for answers. We can have it up in the air and to somebody um, and hopefully save a life. And to be able to do just that, the Lynn Police Department is in the process of purchasing gadgets to be able to release a life jacket from their drone. They tell me that should be in place within the next few months. At Lake Geneva, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.